Okay, so here's a here's a little rundown on the the 3D PDF plugin uh, from SimLab. So the the plugin itself um, just lives up here in, in a little drop down and allows you to export the 3D model as a 3D PDF. Uh, before we did that, though, I went in here and applied uh, some some Rhino materials or some materials to my Rhino objects here. And one thing that's different in this model is that I have duplicate shanks and the reason for that is that one has a yellow gold material one has a white gold material applied to it just to show some variation so I do have duplicate objects there and then I just have a single head and my diamond uh, for my stone so one thing you wanna keep in mind is that it will export the current views as the default views in your PDF and you can choose to to export just one single view so we could do just the perspective or we can do um, in this case all four views that are in the document so I'm gonna do all four views and they will load in just how you see them here except for they will all be shaded with these materials uh, so I'll just simply go up to uh, SimLab and click on PDF export and then export and I will choose my PDF file it's over here on the screen here so we'll do this one I'll just overwrite it and you can see we get this drop down here um, so you can pick and choose which views you want to do I'm just gonna do uh, export selected cameras so that will do all of them in the list here um, and I've already done this and I'm running the trial version so I don't want to burn up a one of my I think 18 exports it gives you or something like that so uh, I'll exit out of that and I'll just open up the one that I had already done which is right here so this is how it this is how it opens and um, just a quick rundown on the controls you have and this is just in, in Adobe Reader so uh, so here in the upper left hand corner of your toolbar you have the drop down here that allows you to pick rotate spin pan zoom um, all the different controls and if I just left click that will rotate if I right click and drag that zooms um, home will take you back to the default view I have a drop down here with the views that were exported out of Rhino and it's got a nice animation from view to view so I can go there I can go to my perspective uh, through finger and so forth so um, so that's kind of nice, and you can see it, it as when it shades, it shows you the white and the, the yellow metals both. So let's take a look at that. This little tree view button here um, gives you your options here on the side. And if I branch this out, I can turn uh, components on and off. So for my ring shank, if I wanted to view it all as a white metal, I could turn that on, all as a yellow metal, do that. And you could do it for the gemstones and whatnot as well. The only thing you have to watch is the more you have loaded in here, the larger the PDF gets and uh, this is 3D geometry so it doesn't take very long to uh, to get big in file size alright so there that is um, there's also some some shade um, or some display settings that we can look at uh, this one lets you pick between a perspective and an orthographic projection so it just changes the camera type uh, not a whole lot of change in this model but at certain views you could see it um, the one next to that is all the different shade modes that are available so right now we're in solid and it is going to retain the materials that were applied in in uh, in Rhino regardless of, of what you do here so in some of these you'll still be able to see the the gold materials but um, like we have this illustration that's kind of a pin outline we have uh, well, that's bounding box view. Let's see, we have transparent, which is kind of a transparent view, but still with those materials. Um, shaded illustration gives you kind of a pin stroke around the the materials there, and so forth. This one's kind of neat. It, it's a shaded view, but it gives you kind of a stroke on the edges. So, um, so it's kind of neat. So, um, there's a wireframe. And whatnot. So there's a, there's a few options there, and you can change the background color and all that good stuff. Uh, so that's that's kind of fun. The um, the other thing to look at is if we go back into Rhino, under SimLab, we branch it out and go to settings. There are 
uh, quite a few default templates that you can export to. So, you, you know, there's some already set up in here. And you have the ability to, to make, download, and add your own. Um, you can, um, obviously there's some different different options, like you can even add background music if you want. Uh, you can change some of the the default option or default controls. So if by default you wanted um, spin to be the default control, you could do that instead of rotate, and um, and you can change the default uh, render mode and all that good stuff. Um, so there's that. The uh, that's really it for for the options. Um, but you know, I think the SimLab thing is is neat. It supports 3DM files natively, being a Rhino plugin, versus some of the other ones that are out there that require you to import it as like an OBJ or something like that. So this is definitely pretty straightforward, and it's also affordable. So.